As you know, I'm a huge Clary fan. What do you think Clary would typically be wearing if she wasn't constantly wearing runes and all black? Or would that be your choice? Well, see, it's it's interesting, and this is something we talked a lot about. And Shelly Mansell, who is the wardrobe designer on Shadowhunters, is brilliant. And we had so much fun. I remember when she called me for the first time. She and I were exactly on the same page with what we wanted to do with Clary, and that was take her style from this boho Brooklyn artist into a shadow hunter and find ways because Clary is the ultimate dichotomy. She's the fighter and the artist. She's the soldier and the the angel and all of these things put together, the hard and the soft, the black and the light. And uh, it's finding a way to, to combine that throughout her, her wardrobe. And depending on where she goes and what happens to her in the story, her wardrobe evolves. And that's something we're actually going to see quite a bit this season in 3B. Um, we actually really got to play because Clary takes quite a departure from herself uh, into what she is becoming this season. And that will, that will, it's sort of, this Monday's episode starts that journey. Uh, it's sort of the last time we see her really soft. She's sort of in this pale sweater and, and green jacket. And then as it moves forward, things get different. I love it. And I loved your Paris look. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. It took, it took a lot for us to figure that one out because it was Lilith's closet, but it was still something that Clary would have chosen. And, uh, uh, Matt Hastings, our director, had a very specific vision of what he wanted for all of the locations in Paris as well. We also had the restrictions of having to hide all of the runes, so it made it tricky, but I think we worked it out okay.